Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I hope you all are fine and healthy. Begin today's class. I'm going to teach you English grammar and the topic is future continuous tense. Before starting this topic, I would like to define what is future continuous tense. Future continuous tense points or describes the action which will happen, which will start and in future and continue for an expected length of time. For example, I will be teaching you English text next week. It means my process or my function action of the teaching of English will start will be started in future. Okay, let's see how do we make the future continuous tense. First, look at structure. First, you will write subject, then auxiliary verb. These are called auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb will be or shall be. Then present participle form of verb and object. Let's see example. First example, you will be working at 10 a.m. She will be driving a car. I will be playing tennis. Tomorrow, he will be doing his homework. Then they will be going to perform Umrah next week. Did you mark it up? These sentences shows the action will start in future and continue for an expected time, length of time. Now, whenever we speak future continuous tense, we complete subject and will or shall. How? Look at here. You will. We write it like this. You and we pronounce you. Uh. They will. They will. She will. She will. Like this, we will pronounce this. You will. You will. They will. They will. She will. She will. Okay, students. I hope you understood. Understood this. Let's move towards the formation of negative sentences of future continuous tense. Now, dear students, look at both the structure of negative sentence of future continuous tense. As usual, as usual first we will write down the subject. Then auxiliary verb will be or shall be. In between will be or shall be, we will write here not. That is, will not be or shall not be. Then present participle form of verb and object. Look at examples. You will not be working at 10 a.m. She will not be driving a car. I will not be playing tennis tomorrow. He will not be doing his homework. They will not be going to perform Umrah next week. Listen students, when we speak future continuous tense, we often contract subject and will not or shall not. Look at here, I will not, you will write and you will say, I won't. They will not. They will not. They won't. She will. 
bit of art. She wants, etc. In this way, you will compare subject and will or shall. I want, they want, she want, and so on. Let's move towards the formation of interrogative sentence of future continuous tense. My dear students, look at both. The structure of interrogative sentence of future continuous tense. For this tense, first you will write auxiliary verb at the beginning of the sentence. Auxiliary verb that is will or shall will come at the beginning of the subject that is before the subject you will write here. Will or shall. Then subject, then be and present participle form of verb object and at the end of sentence you will write here question mark that is sign of interrogation. What is this sign of interrogation? Now look at examples. As I shown here, will or shall will come at the beginning of the sentence before the subject. So will you be walking at 10 a.m. Next example. Will she be driving a car? Then question mark. Will I be playing tennis tomorrow? At the end of sentence, sign of interrogation, you can say the question mark. Next, will he be doing his homework? Then question mark. And next example, will they be going to perform Umrah next week? And question mark. So, with the help of this structure, you can make the sentences interrogative of future continuous tense. I hope, students, you understood the structures and rule how you how do you make. Okay. Now, move towards the exercise. There are two exercises in today's class. First. You have to do the translation. That is, there are five sentences. You have to translate these sentences into English. After translation, you will change the sentence. First sentence, first in negative. Then interrogative. Then interrogative. As you have done here. Right? Now, the next question, write down the forms of verb. For this question, look at your book. Take out page number 120. There are forms of verb. You have to write down the forms of verb from key to Bring. The answers of this translation and the negative interrogative sentences and the forms of verb are given in PDF file. Okay students, now your class ends here.